of uh, starting a country one bon bonfire to burn Uru's spot. We want nothing but power. Yes. Our power that these despots took by force. We are the people and nobody is going to dictate terms to us. Thank you very much. I welcome a few questions. Of uh, starting a country one bon bonfire to burn Uru's spot. Anyone who hangs Uru Kenyatta's portrait we consider an enemy. We consider a member of the, the, the junta, the illegitimate usurpers of power. Which were heard by Justice Dulo were allowed. And the decision of the Director of Immigration Court at what point did the immigration department assume for the indications are that the court will continue to be firm and our client will be returned to this country he belongs here he does not belong to Canada. His family members are here. His roots are in this country. They are not in Canada at all. What has happened is deplorable and despicable. Yes, because you see, when these are issues that were being dealt with were fundamental rights of the of the suspect, and Article 19 says that the fundamental rights belong to an individual, and not to the state. So, if you cannot uh, be brought to court for justice, if you are deported, if your citizenship is denounced, if you are taken out of the country without you defending yourself, what are the first rights of a person? To be arrested, to be told why you are arrested, to be given a chance to defend yourself, and to be able to respond. None of this has happened, and those are fundamental rights. So they are in total breach of those constitutional rights. Somebody must pay. We seem to be in a state of lawlessness where the rule of law has been thrown out of the window and those who are breaking the law are the ones who purport to be enforcing the rule of law. We have a rogue regime which has captured certain sections of the state, the security services, parts of the executive, and it is using those things to overthrow the constitution. And hope you stay open. Yeah. <laughs>